Um, this is a very a kind of a very new subject about Russia's strategic influence on Pakistan because the answer is very short is there is none. There's been a long history of Russia and Pakistan having hardly any relations, much less strategic relations, and that's why it is more fascinating. So my presentation basically are really simplified in three areas. What has happened? What are the drivers of this change? Uh, bon hobby between Russia and Pakistan, which is just about a decade back that I'm more focused on. And when Henry asked me to do this research, this is very difficult to find out because one, there is no open literature available on this subject. The Pakistani think tanks do not talk on this subject at all. There's very little announcement that comes out from any Russian-Pakistani interaction that happens or delegations that visit each other or even the cooperation of military exercises, etc., that goes on, very little comes out of it except for the announcement that takes. So it's a hard research to really pin down as to what it is. So it's more about conjectures, about historical conjectures that I will, I will cover this, you know. And you can see these exercises that are happening. I want to first give you the key takeaways because when, if Henry stops, he stops and I'll stop there. These are the major takeaways from the research that I have. Basically, the Russian Pakistan got together really as Machiavellian principle, but as both Russia and Pakistan relation with the United <coughs> States began to really dwindle down, and that is where they became closer, as the timeline would show, you know. From Pakistan's point of view, the, the economic, regional, internal security challenges that they are facing, which is well familiar with, actually brought them closer to embrace China and also reach out to the person with Russia. But I think if you want to know one singular factor that has really brought them toge together is something that we talk every day now, that's Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the one that has brought Pakistan and Russia together. The other thing is Russia's sales pitch to South Asia. Uh, some of the somewhat disappointed with the S-400 sale that uh, Russia gave to India. But India is equally disappointed with Russia being progressively taking neutral position on South Asian security issues, something they never did that throughout the Cold War. And that is something, a big change, as far as the Pakistanis are concerned. And finally, it's so still very new that, you know, well, my findings indicate that even though this, this relation may be somewhat getting warmer, the historic distrust is actually fundamental that continues to cause a big overshadow. And I'll explain to you what the, what those were. Here's what explains a little bit new. I think the Pakistans have always feared abandonment of the US. And, you know, with India, relation, US deepening relation with India, and its diminished role in Afghanistan. This was always a calculus of Pakistan in the last 20 years, and that's exactly what's happening as we speak now. In fact, Russia stepped in Afghanistan very quietly. They were having contact with some faction of Afghanistan, as manifested about two weeks back in the Moscow conference. And that was, that's where the Pakistanis noticed that Russians are keeping their interest alive throughout. But I think this is a third point, particularly talking about Pakistani security. They came to a certain point in early 2000s that the United States model of ensuring stability in South Asia is to establish hegemonic stability meaning India is hegemonic over South Asia, which Pakistan will contest truth and name. That's where they began to do the classic balance of power. Historically, Pakistan has always seeked for alliance against India, whether it was US, China, Russia. Now that's where the China and Russia factor comes because the moment they fear that this factor would come into play. The other game-changing thing that is happening in the region is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which has been talked as a flagship corridor of the Belt Road Initiative. And my finding is that Russia is a bit skeptic about this whole CPEC, whether to join in, not join in, what happens if CPEC is success, what impact it will have on Central Asia, which is Russia's backyard. It's still skeptical. It wants to join in, but not join in. It doesn't know. That's something which is up in the air as far as I'm. Now, some about the influence, that was the original um, topic here. What is the influence, the strategic influence? And I found this to be a very interesting one, still very evolving. Pakistani authors, including me, we have all studied Western literature, Western authors. We mimic Cold War doctrine. We study that. Same is the case with India. 
uh, we thought Russia would have greater influence over India uh, b because of their, co their close relationship. Pakistan never had one. But I think, unlike Indian whose military officers went to Russia for all training, there was hardly any Pakistani officers ever trained in Moscow. That's changing thanks to the United States closing down the IMED program. As, and that's very, very late. That's just about now. The last batch of naval force guys in the naval force graduate school that I teach of Pakistani officers will be graduating this spring, and we'll have no Pakistani officers. If you have any memory, this is exactly what happened in the 1990s, and was promised in 2001 never to happen again. But for the first time, I think the Russians have stepped in, and I think the Pakistani officers will be having close relations with Russia on that. And therefore, this warming ties also includes, because then this is publicly seen, I served in the Pakistani Strategic Lands Division. I do see Pakistani officers, my former colleagues, visiting there and closely studying Russian doctrine, possibly. They've only seen in pictures. They don't talk about it, but it's quite visible. So there are three areas of Russian doctrine, as we know. And please correct me, because this is some evolving and something I want to talk a little bit about the sort of resemblance. First, US policy, tactical nuclear weapons use, and the concept of escalate to de-escalate. And Professor Kip helps me with that is the case. And I'll just show you a little bit how the similarities are indicated. I want to say that it is not that the Russians have influenced. It is just coincidental that both seem to be close to each other's thinking in that. But what Russia is right now doing in South Asia, for my research finding is, it is really doing a very delicate balancing. It's found a new form of interest in Pakistan, and these are in these four areas. China Economic Corridor, number one is Afghanistan. It should be in that order, actually. Alienation with the US, and finally the defense sale that is open. Um, still, they don't want to alienate India politically, economically, or defense sale, because the market that India provides is, is much more bigger than Pakistanis could do that.